Railroads have always been an important part of our communities, as they kept us linked together before automobiles and airlines could. They moved both our freight and passengers like clockwork. Nowadays, railroading is far different from what it used to be, with PTC, DPUs, and PSR. The old era is gone and in with the new, as they say. Well, on July 12th, 1986, a monumental event would happen in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania that would mark the end of an era for privately operated commuter trains when the Pittsburgh and Lake Erie Railroad would run their last scheduled passenger train. On May 11th, 1875, the Pittsburgh and Lake Erie Railroad would be chartered and formed by Pittsburgh businessman William McGreary and a group of associates to directly serve the Pittsburgh region. The PNL Lee would run from Pittsburgh to the west into Youngstown, Ohio, and Connellsville, Pennsylvania in the east. The railroad was a subsidiary of the then New York Central and Hudson River, later New York Central Railroad, and used to get into Pittsburgh, which at the time was the domain for the Central's rival, the Pennsylvania Railroad. Despite being a subsidiary route, the PNL was never fully absorbed into the Central and even managed to outlive its parent company as an independent operator for many years after the merger that created the Penn Central Railroad. The PNL slowly started to enter a decline in the 1970s, and by 1992, the railroad was forced to merge into the CSX Railroad, who still operates the line to this day. The PNL Lee was a vital source to Pittsburgh area commuters. From 1910 to 1930, the railroad operated 50 commuter trains on the 65 mile line from Pittsburgh to Youngstown. The railroad ran a joint connection with the Erie, New York Central, and eventually the Baltimore and Ohio Railroad. Joint passenger operations with the BNO Erie and Central continued up until March of 1971 when Amtrak took over passenger service from many different railroads across the United States. The PNL Lee's passenger service soldiered on until 1975, when the railroad attempted to shut down the operation. However, a public outcry made their service carry on for another 10 years, before the inevitable would happen. The date is July 12, 1985. Passengers and rail fans board the final PNL Lee commuter train. Many are sad to see the operation go, as before buses and cars took over, it was a vital key to everyday transportation in the Pittsburgh area. Engine 1501 was given the honors to haul the train that day, and was cleaned up just for the occasion. 1501 was built for the PNLE in 1953 by the General Motors Electromove Division, or EMD. The locomotive is a GP7 type diesel electric road switcher with a BB wheel configuration. Power was provided using an EMD 567B 16 cylinder engine that generated over 1500 horsepower. The locomotive was primarily used for the PNLE's passenger operations. Early photos of the locomotive are scarce, however, the locomotive was painted into a bicentennial scheme in 1975 to celebrate the 200th birthday of the United States, but it was repainted back into a more traditional PNLE livery in 1979. The train left in the afternoon running to Youngstown. From there, the train would head back into Pittsburgh where passengers would deboard for the final time, bringing an end to 110 years of service. Today, Pittsburgh remains a rail hub for freight and passenger trains. While today's passenger trains are your typical Amtrak, none will be the same or live up to the legacy of the PNL Lee's commuter service. Today, the Pittsburgh PNL Lee station has been turned into a grand concourse restaurant, no longer seeing passenger trains arriving or departing. Many stations along the right of way have been either turned into historic museums or closed and abandoned, their glory days seeming like a distant memory. As for the 1501, its ownership moved around for a bit after the PNL Lee was merged into the CSX. 
After the merger, 1501 was sold and worked to the Youngstown and Austintown Railroad up until 1999, when it was purchased by the Ohio Central and moved there for operations. Currently, the 1501 sits at the Age of Steam Roundhouse and Sugar Creek. The locomotive is stored in working order and is a gem among the diesels at the roundhouse. The golden era of Pittsburgh railroading has been long over, but the memories will always remain.